What's good, booze? It's Sheen Boo, and you already know. Welcome to Los Angeles. y'all i'm in sephora it's launch day i got my goodies i got my goodies they don't have any more of the come through so i've got uh, i've arrived i gotta get the creatures y'all y'all know i don't like creatures but i'm gonna get them yeah have you tried any yet um no i have not because today's like the launch day for it technically so so you haven't tried none try. of the other stuff um, from Patrick Thick? Yeah. Um, I only tried um, his wipes. The wipes are really good. And, like to take off your makeup. Really, I mean, to me, it's it's um, it's What's a lot. Good boost is Sheen Boo, and you already know. So today we are going to be checking out Patrick Star's new launches. Okay, he has come out with setting powder. He's come out with powder puffs. lashes we about to get into all of it i just want y'all to see how big this powder puff is it's huge let's open it i got two because of scarcity reasons <laughs> i was like i'm not gonna be able to get none i was up as soon as the launch date hit i was up actually they sent out um, I went to his website and it said, email me when products are available. And all oh, the difference about this one is it's flat on the bottom. Usually most powder puffs go all the way around in a circle. But um, online on Sephora and on one size, it let me do everything, said it was available the day before. And then once you got to checkout, it kept saying card error. So it was charging my card and then returning it. So I'm like, did they just accidentally put out? I got two of the same thing. Did they just accidentally put that it was available and it wasn't? Um, is that why it wasn't working? Then I got up this morning and I just put it for in-store pickup and I went and got it. So here is the setting powder. I know that's what y'all really came here for. This is in dark deep, as you can see. First of all, y'all know I'm obsessed with pink. Look at this packaging. Right here, this packaging. This is it. So we're gonna open her up. Okay. She double cased it, y'all. She not spilling at all. Look at that. Let's see you. No setting powders can get very messy. So I'm gonna use the deep on my face bare face before I put on foundation and I am going to use they gave me two deep dark I was supposed to have one light both of these are deep dark I'm gonna have to go back to the store and get the light one. typically don't wear thick creature lashes like this I call these creatures but we all know Patrick is extra I wouldn't expect anything less um yeah I normally wouldn't wear those, but oh, oh my God. It has like the instant blur effect. Um, so you only gonna get out what you need too with that little hole. Man, I'm gonna have to go back once I get done filming this and get the other one for y'all so I can show y'all that one too. Actually, I'm gonna call them.
Can y'all see the way this is blurring my imperfections? Like, it's blurring, y'all. So it works out better if you put it in a cap. I don't know why I was just trying to tilt it. I'm still on hold with them, so I know you can hear it. Look at that. Do you see those dark spots disappearing? It's so finely milled. It doesn't have a scent to it. And it's like, what do I need foundation for? What do I need the foundation for? This setting powder is doing the dang thing. It's doing it. Oh my God. Like I'm not hyping it y'all. It's, it's really, it's really the goat. But why would we, why would we be surprised? Patrick Starr, it's Patrick Starr. He knows what he's doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my foundation on and then I'm gonna come back with the rest of his items. still have some of the translucent so I'm gonna have to go back and get it and I'll make sure I'll do it in the video for you guys um, but I know you guys are going to be searching for it because it is launch day so I wanted to get this video up right away but I've already put on my first layer of foundation and it's blending in with that really well as well so when I do my foundation I always go down with a dewy first and I go back over the foundation with a matte. And as you can see, I have pretty clear skin, so I don't need a whole lot of foundation to get like a nice full coverage look. But this powder is definitely making for a very, very, very nice base. It layers up good. It's not making my face like patchy because I put down a powder first. Sometimes when you put down a powder before you put down your foundation and it's not a good powder, it will give you like dry patches. And this is not doing that at all. As you can see, it look good by itself. It's layering up really good. I'm really upset that I ordered too deep dark. I just looked back at it. It actually wasn't Sephora spot. It for somehow it was mine. I guess I was just so anxious. And I messed up. And I got the too deep dark instead of one translucent. But y'all, this is definitely going to be a keep. So because I have too deep. I am going to use a really bright concealer. Um, a really bright concealer to kind of, so I can still show you guys how the deep one sets. Because as you can see, the deep powder is basically the same color as my skin tone. So I don't want it to change the color of my concealer when I'm trying to highlight my face. So we're gonna use a dark one. works best if you put it in the cap like you should. I tried to just tilt it and it made a little bit of a mess. Not nothing too crazy. So we're going to take our powder puff. I always like to take the, e the excess off. Oh man. Even with me using a really bright concealer, this still is not working for my skin tone to use to set my concealer. It's set in a concealer fine, but obviously it's changing the color because it's dark. But that's all right because we're going to go get the light powder before this video is over. And I will show you guys the light powder as well. I just didn't want to stop. Alrighty. Maybe if I would have just used a little less, it wouldn't have changed my concealer all that much. Because as you can see on my forehead, it's not, it's not changing the color of the concealer. Oh, my skin is so smooth. 
So I just added another layer under my eyes and it's not creasing at all. This powder puff is probably like the softest puff I've ever touched. Let's go ahead and pop on Arrived. Now, I'm not the best at applying lashes. I feel like for everybody, lashes, lashes are hit or miss. Comment down below if lashes are hit or miss for you. These are some creatures, okay? Whole creatures? See how thick that lash band is? Y'all, what? I wasn't ready for this at all. I am struggling with the lash though. But look at, this is a whole animal. This is an entire creature right here. Put them on the best that I could. Um, I'm contemplating while I go to the store, if I want to wear them to go back to get the other powder. Cause this is so not me, but if you're into this, honey, honey, these arrives. If you like that drag queen look or like, I like to call the creature girl, this is it. So let me go back to the store and get the other powder and then I'll be right back. Let me give y'all a few slow mos though. How good this powder looks. It's so soft, y'all. We're gonna blow off the excess. I think I got some on the lens. That's a little bit too much, okay? And we're just going to set it. I don't bake, I just press it in. And then after I press it in, I'm going to brush it away. This one to me, it seems a little, a little more dry than the brown powder, but it's so good, like, look at that, y'all. Look how it's blending out. I really like how it's not changing the color of my concealer, so that's the good thing about having a translucent one. The deep one, you know, as y'all saw earlier, I had to, uh, it changed the color of my concealer a little bit, but um, I used a brighter concealer to kind of make up for that. But you see how easy it just brush, brushes away. It's not clumping up. And I really, really like that. Look how smooth that is. Looks good. It's on one size. All right, booze. So let me give you, let me give you the tea on this one size, okay? This one size. 
honey, honey. This D, this translucent, very smooth, very smooth, sets very nicely. You can, so let's start with the D. So as you saw, I used the deep as a base. So I had already moisturized and primed my face. So I had already moisturized and primed my face before I got on camera. And then I sprayed some Mario Badescu on and then I put this on. And as you can see, it really, really blurred my imperfections. I also put it on top of my concealer. Now it did change my concealer the color of my concealer a little bit because it is dark, but that's why I had to go back to the store and make sure I got the translucent. Had I already had the translucent like I thought I did, I would have never put the dark on, but that's okay because now you guys see, if you do want to set your concealer with the dark one and you're about my color or lighter, you will have to use a really bright concealer. Now this light one, I love it because it's the exact same as the deep, uh, but it did not change my concealer. So that's the part that I like about a translucent. It does not change the color of your concealer. Um, it blends down really nicely. You still get that highlighted in that concealed bright look that you like. And then you still have your deeper tones on the outsides of your face. Um, as for the lashes, I took them off as you can see because that's just not my style. But I did want you guys to see what they look like. The lashes were... Um, the band was heavy and the band was also really thick and it kind of um it didn't poke my inner eye because i didn't put it close but it was just too heavy so every time i blinked i felt like i had the weight of the world on my shoulders but again you guys know after you keep eyelashes on for a while they will start um you will start my mirrors over here if you see me looking um you will start to get used to them so if you are someone who like dramatic lashes and you don't mind a thick lash band then you can go ahead and get those lashes. They were just, they're a little bit much for my taste, but they're still really good lashes. They were quality. The lashes were $20. Um, so just keep that in mind. It's a, it's a decent price point, but um, for that quality of lash, I don't think it was too much. These two setting powders are $30. And y'all, I bought two of these powder puffs. I use one um, for both colors. I use the same one. It won't affect the color, um, but yeah. My other one is over there, but y'all know I bought two of these. This was $14. The thing, I don't have a problem with the price because I know it's quality. It's nice and thick and it's really soft like I showed you. You have the little strap on it here. Um, it's worth it. So on a scale from 1 to 10, I would definitely give everything a 10 out of 10. These products are impeccable. The quality is good. Um, for two powder puffs, two full-size powders, and a lash, um, it was $103 before tax. And then I think it was $107 after tax because I had the 10% off. So it was the last day to use your 10% off at Sephora. Go get you some one-size beauty. You know Patrick produces quality. Just go get some, okay? Just go get some. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep up with Sheen Boo all the time. Instagram, Twitter, Periscope, Sheen, Sheen Boo. You already know. Like, comment, and subscribe. Keep up with Sheen Boo all the time. Snapchat and all of that. You already know where Sheen Boo is at. Sheen, Sheen Boo. You already know. Good night, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm.